For this activity, you're going to first graph the line, figure out which animal the line goes through, and then list the coordinates of the animal. So for the first one, we have y equals 1 half x minus 11. We're going to start at the end of the equation with that minus 11. That is our y-intercept. So we're going to put this first point here on the y-axis at negative 11. Then we'll use the slope to find the next point. Our slope is positive, so we're going to go up. We're going to go up 1 because that's our first number, and then we're going to go right 2. So the first number always tells us how much we go up or down, and the next number always tells us how much we go to the right. So from this um, point, we're going to go up 1, right 2. Let's grab another dot. We'll start from the point we just placed. Go up 1, right 2. And repeat. Up 1, right 2. Oh, and we stopped right here at this point where the line is at. I'm going to still add my arrow, though. Sometimes we'll need the arrows, and the dots won't actually hit anything, so it's very important that you're using those arrows as well. All right, so our animal is the lion. And then we need to have the coordinates. Coordinates are x, comma, y. So we always start here at the origin. We're going to go over to 6. So that will be our first number. We're going to get on the elevator and we're going to go down. And we'll stop at negative 8. So our coordinates are 6, negative 8. So you can go ahead and type that into that little text box right here. All right, let's see. Um, a few things to point out for today. So if there's no number in front of X, let's say X is a Chromebook and you lost a Chromebook. That means you lost one Chromebook. So you can squeeze in a one. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze in a one. That negative is hard to see, so I'll still make sure it's right there. And also, if your slope is not a fraction, you can add a denominator of one. So for this one, you're going to start at seven on the Y axis. And then you're going to go down one, right one. Repeat, down one, right one. If there's no number where the y-intercept is, it is zero because nothing is the same as zero. Ooh, and let's take a peek at number six. Number six doesn't have any x's. So we can write, write this as y equals no x's, zero x, and then positive 7 or plus 7. So we would start at positive 7 on our y-axis. This is not a fraction for the slope. So let's put a 1 in the denominator. We're going to go up 0 over 1. Up 0 over 1. And again, you can click and drag these points. Up 0 over 1. So that means this line is just going to be flat. So if we extend that line, it's going to go through the gorilla.